All right, Chris, thank you so much. Governor-elect Jeff Landry's Transition Committee on New Orleans has raised some eyebrows and concern because it includes no one from city government. That's the topic of this week's commentary by Eyewitness News political analyst and Gambit columnist Clancy Dubos. At best, Jeff Landry's Transition Committee on New Orleans is a mixed blessing. It's great that an incoming governor shows interest in the state's largest city, but it's a big middle finger to the mayor to include the guy who financed a failed recall drive against her and no one from city government. Landry's committee includes key business and hospitality industry leaders, but no one from local law enforcement or the city council. Instead, Landry tapped the former DA and his daughter and Jefferson Parish Sheriff Joe Lapinto. State Senator Royce Duplessis of New Orleans is the committee's only elected official from the city. I'm told the committee's main job will be suggesting ways Landry can issue executive orders affecting New Orleans. If that's true, the new governor will also need a good constitutional lawyer. This has been an expression of opinion by Clancy Dubose. Email your thoughts to commentary at WWLTV.com. The New Orleans Transition Committee will hold its first meeting tomorrow in Lafayette.